All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakad Kwadash. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shit Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this title of if both parents have to be an Israelite for the child to be an Israelite, then explain Judges the 21st chapter, okay? Which you have this crazy bugged out doctrine going up out, you know, that people are saying that a person who has an Israelite father but an heathen mother they're not Israelites and they don't have a tribe which is nothing but confusing okay but the thing is they say that both parents have to be an Israelite okay in order for the child to be an Israelite okay um where there is no scripture that uh that goes into that and then they say that the child is a bastard you know which they don't understand you know the new speak and how you know things are um messed up in this society okay as far as the words are concerned okay but the thing is if both parents have to be an israelite in order for the child to be an israelite in order for the bloodline to be uh what it is then explain Judges the 21st chapter. And I'm going to bring out Judges the 21st chapter. And I'm going to bring out the point. Okay. It says, Now the men of Israel had sworn in Mizpah, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife. Why? Because the tribe of Benjamin was fighting against the other tribes of Israel. Okay. And um, I'm going to get this before I go into it. Judges the 20, 20th chapter and 23rd verse. And the children of Israel went up and wept before the Lord e until even and asked counsel of Yahweh saying, So I go up against to battle, I mean again to battle against the children of Benjamin, my brother. And the Lord said, go up against him right see you people read this this um this scripture okay and y'all just look at the history and you know y'all don't apply it on today you know whereas though the scriptures in uh second timothy uh the third chapter it says that uh all all uh doctrine is uh you know profitable for reproof man Okay, all scriptures are profitable for re reproof. Okay, so the Lord put this in the in the in the scriptures for a reason. Okay, it says, and the children of Israel came near against the children of Benjamin the second day, and Benjamin went forth against them out of Gib Gibeah the second day and destroyed down to the ground. Of the children of Israel again, eighteen thousand men. All these drew the sword. Okay, so they, the the tribe of Benjamin, you know, they was going at you know the the other tribes of Israel. Okay, and then um, the last verse is Judges twenty and forty eight. And the men of Israel turned again unto the children of Benjamin and smote them with the edge of the sword, as well. The men of every city, as the beast, and all that came to hand, also they set on fire all the cities that came that they came to. Okay? So the children of Israel and the children of Benjamin were were you know beefing hard, man. Okay? And it got to the point where, you know, the children of Israel, they said, and hey, we're not, you know, it says there so not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife, right? And the people came to the house of Yahweh and abode there till even 
before Yahweh Bashim Yahshah and lifted up their voices and wept sore and said, O Lord God of Israel, why is this come to pass in Israel that there shall, should be today one tribe, one tribe lacking in Israel? Okay, because they, you know, they, they destroyed, you know, the, the, the tribe of Benjamin, right? You know, they was, they was beefing hard, right? It says, and it came to pass on the morrow that the people rose early and built there an altar and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the children of Israel said, who is there among all the tribes of Israel that came not up with the congregation unto Yahweh Shemiah For they had made a great oath concerning him that came not up to the Lord to Mishpath. Mizpah, saying he shall surely be put to death. And the children of Israel repented them for Benjamin, their brother, and said, There is one tribe cut off from Israel this day. How shall, how shall we do for wives for them that remain? Right? Because they didn't have wives. Right? Seeing we have sworn by the Lord that I, we will not give them of our daughters to wives. Right? So... The, 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 the tribe of Benjamin was Israelites, but the, the Israelites said that they didn't want to give them any wives, right? And they said, what one tribe is there of the tribes of Israel that came not up to Mizpah to the Lord? And behold, there came none to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. For the people were numbered, and behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead there. And the congregation sent thither twelve thousand men of the valiantest and commanded them saying go and smite the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword with the women and the children and this is the thing that you should do you shall utterly destroy every male and every woman that has lain by man and they found among the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead four hundred young virgins that had not known man, no man by by lying with any male, and they brought them onto the camp to Salah, which is in the land of Canaan. And the whole congregation sent some to speak to the children of Benjamin that were in the rock Rimmon, and to call peaceably unto them. And Benjamin came again that time. They gave them wives, which they had saved alive of the women of Jabesh Gilead, and yet so they sufficed them not. Right? Let's see what this word sufficed mean, okay? Uh, it's mata, mata, ta, ta, a, okay? Which is, uh, it says, to find, attain to, to find, secure, acquire, get, things sought, to find what is lost, to meet, encounter, to find a condition, to learn, Devise, to find, detect, to come upon, light upon, to happen upon, meet, fall in with, okay? Because so continue it on. It says, um, and yet so they suffice them not, right? And the Lord, and, um, shall I get, and the people repented them for Benjamin because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribe of tribes of Israel, right? And then the elders of the congregation said, How shall we do for them that remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? So there were no women in, in the tribe of Benjamin, right? At that time. It says, And they said, There must be an inheritance for them that they that be escaped of Benjamin. That a tribe be not destroyed out of Benjamin. Okay, so basically, these, you know, these, uh, the tribe of Benjamin, there was no woman. None of the, 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 the children of Israel wanted to give them wives. Okay. So they said, you know, that, that, that these, the tribe of Benjamin, you know, we ain't giving them wives. They don't have no women. But they, they got to keep the name going on. Right. How they gonna keep the name going on? It says, "How be it, we may not give them wives of our daughters, 
for the children of Israel sworn, saying, Cursed be he that gives a wife to Benjamin. Then, then they said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shalom, yearly in a place which is on the north side of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem, and on the south of Lebanon. Therefore they commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie and wait in the vineyards, and see and behold, if the daughters of Silo come out to dance and dances, okay, so these women, they was coming out, you know, twerking and so on and so forth. And they come out, come ye out of the vineyards and catch you every man, his wife of the daughters of Silo and go to the land of Benjamin. And it shall be when their fathers or their brethren come unto us to complain that we will say unto them, be favor favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserve not to each man his wife in the war. For you did not give unto them at this time that you shall be guilty. And the children of Benjamin did so and they and took them wives. Okay, and when they took them wives, okay, they didn't just take one. Okay, it says according to their number. They didn't just take one. Someone was taking two. You know, if they could grab three, they, they would grab them. Okay, it says of them that danced whom they caught. And they went and returned unto their inheritance, and repaired the cities, and dwelt in them. And the children of Israel departed thence at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family, and they went out from thence, every man to his, his inheritance. Okay? So the point is, the tribe of Benjamin went out and they took them wives. Okay? They, you know, the, the, the children of Israel didn't want to give them wives. So if every if if both parents have to be Israelites, okay, then how did the tribe of Benjamin continue on their uh, inheritance, man? Continue on to be who they are today, okay? Whereas the tribe of Benjamin are the so-called West Indians, okay? So with that, man, um, you know any of you uh, bozos out there can answer this question, man. You know, uh, you, you people want to sit up there, and, you know, say, uh, you know, uh, this, that or whatever about, you know, camps. But you don't even know why we why we call it a camp in the first place. You know, y'all y'all want to sit up there and talk about, you know, uh, the, the, the truth, you know, and say that these people that, you know, are, 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 are actually Israelites. OK, that have a, 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 um, a Israelite father don't matter what the mother is man y'all saying that these people that that just have an israelite father aren't israelites man well explain this scripture man okay and with that man i want to say uh salawam